I've got to tell you a little story about when I was a kid in the mountains up west of Boulder. Uh, we, we had a lot of fun up there, and of course winter hit there like it is here, down here it is everywhere right now. But we had a, a unique situation with our drain from the kitchen sink. Uh, it didn't go very far underground. It went out, to, the pipe went out the middle of the yard, and Dad had put a five-gallon bucket out there for a junction, and then it headed uh, from that bucket, it headed on out into the all the way out in the lower part of the yard and wherever it went. And uh, it froze in the winters, so we'd have to put a bucket under the pea trap at the kitchen, and that was kind of kind of meddlesome. But anyway, this one time we decided that what we would do is thaw this this drain out. And it was frozen between the kitchen and this five-gallon bucket, so we took the lid off the bucket. It wasn't froze there, so we thought, well, we've got to freeze up above and no water coming through. And so we took a 55-gallon drum, and we put uh, this drum about a third or half full of water. And uh, the small bung we attached a garden hose to long enough to uh, run it into this pipe. And a large one, of course, we filled. and and put it on the bottom as we set this on a big pile of wood. And we started the wood on fire, and by and by it got hot enough that this old drum was producing steam, and we stuck it up this little drain, and, and, and we, had, we had a good time watching that water come down through, and we were all happy, and by gosh, you know, this was the way to do this. We were going to remember this for the future. And as we went into the house and congratulating ourselves, why... Uh, one of us heard this drum out there rumbling, and it was going, starting, you know, and, and you could see that it was swelling a little bit. And we were kind of concerned all of a sudden that this would blow up and ruin our day. So each one of us went to our respective places, my dad, my brother, and I, and got our rifles and went out there and started shooting holes in it. There was a 30-40 Craig and a 30-30 and a 22, and we got these holes all in this thing and, and relieved that and we still were happy because we had, we had ruined the drum but that was uh, incidental to, to the getting rid of this drainage problem. You know, I, I just sit here thinking about that thinking, man, in those days it went like it did. You know, we were only one of only three or four families in town but today you'd have to run right to the phone and you'd have to call Legal Shield, Riggs Abney, Neil Turpin, or Bissett Lewis, and find out what to do next. It's amazing what we did and how we would have to do that now. Thank you.